Namaste. Hi. Hatha yoga is a scientific process, and it's made up of four major stages. First stage, open the physical. And then when you move the body, yeah, focus on the spine. Move the spine in various directions. Forward bending, that's number one, where we close the spine. Yeah, flexion. Twisting is second, where you rotate the spine and lift it up to the spiral. Yeah. Third, side bending, where you stretch the side trunk. Yeah. Fourth, back bend, when we curl back to open the front of the body. Yeah. And lastly, neutral spine, where you're lifting and ascending up to the vertical position. And there are thousands of asanas. You can even make up your own, depending on your nature, depending on your preference, and depending on how you feel for a particular session. All right. After opening the body, yeah, next is clear the pathway of the breath. Yeah, and clearing the pathway of the breath yeah, um, is a combination of shakarmas, particularly the um, kapalabhati, <laughs> that one, or you can just sneeze the blockages out because as you work on the asana, the blockages will try to exit through the nasal pathway and then just release those blockages. Yeah through a round or two of kapal body or just knees the blockages out and after that sit tall and then you do your pranayama so pranayama is the second stage pranayama is where we channelize the breath flow the breath to further irrigate and then do our internal cleansing all right and then for general practice i suggest yeah just the normal breath inhaling and retaining it as long as it feels light inside, with your head nodding to your chest, breathing in, and then stay. Right, maybe four seconds. We're all capable of retaining the breath. Yeah, because there are some pranayamas or breath exercises which are contraindicated for some medical conditions. For example, if you have heart disease or spinal uh, injuries, yeah, cardiorespiratory conditions, you're not allowed to do, for example, Ujjayi and Bastrika Pranayama because those are really intense for your internal system. But, yeah, just working your natural breath with the mind involved and with a light retention inside, yeah, you are serving yeah, deep energetic function for your body. All right, so the retention or the suspension of the breath inside is the essence of pranayama. Yeah, so just hold it as long as it feels like. Because what happens there, when we retain this inspiring of the breath in, our nadis, yeah, the channels inside, absorb yeah, the grace of God contained in the breath so we can nourish our body. Yeah, and with our own energy rising, because you've opened your physical, yes, you know, so the spine is open, you can lift your primal force up, and this will, yeah, blend with yeah, the passive energy. And this will lead to yeah, abundant energy flow. Yeah, so when you're breathing through both nostrils, the effect of pranayama is relaxing, it's calming. Yeah, but the intense ones, so maybe for example, Bhastrika, Ujjayi, or where you retain the breath longer, yeah, those are for advanced practitioners. Yeah, but even if you're an advanced practitioner, try it. Be open just to your breathing, your natural rhythm. All right. So natural breath, yeah, both nostrils. All right. Another pranayama uh, good for everyone is the Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana is when you're breathing through one nostril. So blocking your right, using your thumb, inhaling through the left. And then retain inside while the head is tucked. And then you're lifting be be your eye gaze between your eyebrows inside. Good. And then exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Retain. Except for the left. Yeah, I've given plenty of tutorials about Nadi Shodhana. Have a look at them. All right. So after your pranayama, yeah, start small always. Yeah, start three minutes, then five minutes, 15 minutes until you can comfortably practice in one session, 30 minutes. And don't rush. Before I was able to practice 30 minutes nonstop, it took me about two years. Yes, yeah, that's how we need to progressively work on our techniques. Yeah, it's not about finishing first. It's about realizing 
understanding each step of the way. And you will discover and realize some beautiful things in between your transitions. All right. Yeah. Asana, open the body. Pranayama, open the breath. All right. Third, yeah, mudra. Mudra is where we channelize the force we harness from the body to the brain. Yeah. And then for me, yeah. Although there are many mudras there, which involves the physical and some um, internal gestures as well, like the eyes and then the tongue. But for me, yeah, chanting yeah, is a powerful way to channelize our energies. The Om means firing after your pranayama, breathing in. And the effect of the Om Mantra is instantaneous. Right away, you will feel yeah, it in the brain. This relaxing, calming, yeah, and soothing vibration ripples the brain. Right. So again, when you work on your mudras, when you work on your chanting, yeah, start small. Yeah, maybe just on five minutes to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, and these are like just the guide. Yeah, it doesn't mean that if it's, if I say five minutes is strictly five minutes, so feel it. So around that time, you might look at your clock or you may set the timer, but just be. Yeah, as long as it feels good, keep doing it. All right, and after your mudra, yeah, relax. Yeah, shavasana, where you just lie down flat. Yeah, with a slight elevation. Yeah, this one. Yeah, watch my Shavasana tutorial as well. Yeah. <laughs> cover your body, cover your eyes. If you feel cold, yeah, cover your cold spots. And then just surrender yeah, to these subtle sensations. And what are the subtle sensations? Nada, yeah, the subtle sounds, yeah. The uh, sensitizing sensation you feel like the electricity crawling and as you hold the body in a steady position you will go through you know, various stages as well of uh, relaxation and meditation and one of them is yoga nidra yoga nidra is when your body becomes so steady yeah but you can feel yeah, the surface like this this uh not scary paralysis but yeah like the body's so relaxed that even if you want to move the body it won't move yeah and that's your uh, yeah energy system uh, surfacing up yeah so your body the physical becomes less involved and your autonomic functions slow down all right, so after that, yeah, when uh, the body becomes, uh, I say, restless again, when the mind um, becomes restless, yeah, get up. And then when you release, your Shavasana starts with the breath. Now, inspiring the breath in and allow it to become a sound, a sensation from the sensation, external movement. Yeah, and then your external eyes open. You may do gentle stretches lying down. Yeah, you may do this, circle around, side to side. But, and then tuck to one side. And up to your sitting. Yeah. And then finish again with yeah, grace. Finish again with gratitude. Yeah, so you may lift the hands over the head like this. Yeah. And then do this a few times. Yeah. Circular breath. Yeah. Yeah. The prana mudra. You may also do the prana mudra. Like this. Yeah. Connecting to yeah, our yeah, source. Yeah. And you say your thanks. Yeah. Namaste. Good. Body. Energy mind and spirit that's the complete process of hatha yoga thank you for listening and i'll see you in our next lesson namaste